Hello, I'm Bernadine Voss. I'm the Mayor of the City of Port Phillip. I'm here at the St Kilda Marina, which is managed by Council on behalf of the State Government. As you can see, many of the buildings and infrastructure are reaching the end of their life and are in desperate need of refurbishment. Significant investment is needed to renew and upgrade the space to meet current standards and needs and expectations. Last year, the current tenant's 50-year lease expired and this provided Council with an exciting opportunity to reimagine the future of the marina. Since 2016, we have been working closely with the Victorian Government, the marina users and our local community to ensure that the full potential of the site is realised as part of any new leasing arrangement. And we are now edging close to this being a reality. Through a multi-stage community engagement program, we have worked closely with the community to understand and consider their values and aspirations for the local area and specifically for this site. Less fencing, more open space and a comparable number and type of commercial operations are some of the things you told us that mattered to you and we feel confident we can deliver on all three. When the marina was originally master planned, it was viewed as appropriate to fence off most of the land to protect expensive boating infrastructure and keep people safely separated from the marina operations. By removing most fencing, we can better balance the relationship between public and commercial use across the site. There are also opportunities to better connect the two recreational reserves bordering the marina and a more cohesive flow of space across the entire waterfront, which will create opportunities and flexible spaces for active and passive recreation, quiet enjoyment and culture, welcoming people to spend more time and build community connections. Several environmental considerations have also been critical in our planning as we have sought to protect and enhance natural environment, incorporate progressive environmentally sustainable design principles and build resilience to climate change and coastal vulnerability. We've also sought to support the achievement of flood mitigation objectives for the area through an integrated water management approach. As part of the engagement approach for the project, a 23-member community panel was established to bring a focused community voice with broad perspectives to the development of solutions for the future of the marina site. Through the process, community panel members worked with council officers and technical advisors to develop a set of design criteria for key components of the site. These have informed the development of the St Kilda Marina Site Brief which is available along with the Community Engagement Report on our website. Council has selected a preferred tenant and the local community and other interested parties now have the opportunity to make written or verbal submissions on the proposed lease. Council will consider all submissions received before making its final decision. In addition to the great design, social, environmental and economic benefits, Council has also been able to negotiate a good financial outcome. The tenant plans to invest around $30 million redeveloping the marina over the first four years to ensure it's kept in excellent condition and the rent will be about three times the level it is today, reducing the pressure on rates income. I believe the new long-term lease that Council has negotiated is a great result based upon the community and the Council vision and objectives to the marina. And I look forward to sharing with you our final proposal for a viable marina that will serve our local and boating communities for the next 50 years and beyond.